Z100. We met in the studio. He came to LA to write a song with me. And then we ended up just working on the record, becoming really great friends, and then it went to the next level. Yeah, it did. That's so cool. I like to see two good people getting together. Aww. Two, you know, that's that's very cool. Thank you. And, that, and and when you're working on the record, are you like playing stuff for him? Hey, what do you think of this? Do you take his opinion really seriously? Mm-hmm. All that's the cool. time. Well, because he ended up like he produces a few songs, and we wrote like the majority of the record together. Aww. And we have a duet. Um, it's like a ballad. It's called "Let Me Go." What's that like when he helps you write the record and it comes to like paying people for what they're worth on the song? Do you just let him pick dinner? <laughs> is that is there a monetary exchange? Does he get paid too? Does a check go to both you and him, or you just go, okay, dude? Uh, we had Olive Garden last night. Tonight we can hit up um, Fridays. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm covering all the costs. <laughs> it's my record budget, right? <laughs> nice. I just imagine you handing him here's ten dollars. Go go get a pretzel at the mall. <laughs> go do that. That's perfect. And we also worked with David Hodges, and he's he was in the band Evanescence, and the three of us did a lot of songs together. Martin Johnson from the band Boys Like Girls came mm-hmm. in yeah. towards the end. And um, and then this guy, Jay Cash. So I worked with all new people and knew everything. And it was that's how I wanted it to be. I wanted to s- start fresh, new relationships. And very the, good. The album's very diverse. Awesome.